Slav City is important in the world because whatever system of government, whatever system of economy, whatever system of social conduct you live in, there's going to be some people that just can't get on board. I feel like individuality should be let to flourish and people should build their own houses and or even just commission their own houses. Ava are like, you're telling me we can stay out here indefinitely and do whatever we want. And he goes, yeah, I'm like, well, why would we go anywhere else? Let's move to Slab City. I am in Slab City because I originally came here uh, wanting to build a community and I needed to learn uh, about nonprofit law and stuff like that so I could come here and live for free and not have to worry about rent and I could focus on studying. It's really important that there's one place on the planet where a person in that situation can go. <laughs> I'm, I'm Builder Bill and I've lived here a long time and somewhere around the way I found that everybody needed a party. My name is Marta Braza, but I go by Cherry out here. Everyone knows me as Cherry. I raise kids and I, my, what I do, um, I've been on an evolutionary path to seek wisdom and internalize it, that I can actually progress it to show it to the people around me. That's what I do. Hi, my name's Abel Barraza, and um, what I do, I just like to work with my hands, everything from plants to building stuff, you know, just enjoy being an artist and being creative. Well, I'm Caveman, and let's see, what do I do? I build stuff, I live my awesome life, I take care of a bunch of chickens, I uh, take care of some dogs and a kitten, and fucking A, I just, <laughs> I live my awesome life, that's what I do. So my name is Kaz, uh, I started an eco village in Slab City, uh, I also do web development work. <laughs> Currently, is it hot? <laughs> uh, it's the desert, it's summertime, duh. <laughs> How hot is it today? <laughs> okay. Because every time somebody asks that question, it gets another degree hotter. <laughs> Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the noonday sun. <laughs> and that's the key to it, you don't do that. I have my choice, of that. I choose to live and when I came out of my heat stroke, we discovered that I couldn't even talk at first. This is very good, Yeah. this is very good. Before it was very choppy, bad stuttering, yeah, I've come a long ways in two months. I could barely move, do things. I had to give up all my house chore, everything. Abel became the cook. Yeah. It was, yeah. 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 You've been through a lot. Just, just in two months. Yeah. I was a very, very cocky person before. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is one of the adobe. Oh, nice. This wall over here is my first very first wall. That's why it's the plane is. I started throwing it, but then after a while it started cracking off. So I was like, well, Don, what can I do? So then I heard of people making bricks. So then I just started stacking bricks. And literally, I've, it's all been done with me, bucket at a time. 
you know, getting sand and hay. It took me seven months to do all this. And I did probably 95% of it all by myself. Yeah. Take personal responsibility. I understand if I can come to these revelations with the same education, the same choices and opportunities. Why can't my fellow Americans rise above culture, um, tradition, you know, everything that I do to the past, it's great, let it go, move on and let's find something better. I feel that my ideal America would be everyone taking personal responsibility for the soul, mind and body health and working together uh -huh. to truly help. enjoy and help this world flourish instead of, you know, taken away from it to where we're slowly killing it but yet don't want to really face the fact Mom, that we don't know what to do. Help me. Okay, it's okay. We'll get it right now. Everyone just live in their own way. It's 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 not like anywhere else. So don't have expectations. You know. How could, how could you get people to say, "Hey, let's all let's create a thing where we're all living good and we don't you know, and why do men, some men seem to judge themselves by how many other men are under their thumb. And shouldn't be owned, shouldn't be traded as like a commodity, like it doesn't fucking belong to anyone, it's just here. And there's a good Native American proverb, I, I don't know from which tribe, but it says, uh, the land is leased to you by your your uh, grandchildren not given to you by your father or mother and uh, so you're just here and using it and waiting for the next generation to take over and use it when you die so it's not yours you can't buy up a whole swath of land and then part it out and sell it to people that's just ridiculous if you're not occupying a fucking space it shouldn't be yours and that's how it works in slab city if you're occupying a space it's yours if you have a space and you try and lay claim to it and shit it gets looted and it gets torn down and used as other people's shit because you're not occupying it and that's the way it should be uh, how do you get food slash water? <laughs> um, yeah, we get food from the fucking store, just like everyone else. Well, I don't know what the fuck they expect us to answer that with, like, we have it flown in on a fucking helicopter, like, what, what do we go hunt all our food? I mean, I hunt occasional supplemental food if we don't have any. Insane Wayne, oh, I love it, that old doesn't mean you get anything for free. It doesn't mean you get everything for free. It just means you can be someplace. Be very open-minded yeah, open. and very strong-willed because it can swallow you or it can spit you out either way yeah only the strong survive in slap city you know you can't be faint of heart when it comes to like you know slap justice out here is is no joke how can people who live in regular society have less negative impact on our environment Quit shitting in water. Well, okay, so then, <laughs> then if you tell a regular person that, they're gonna be like, Whoa, oh, but, but what do I shit in? Oh, a composting toilet. I think, I think they're a little bit more mainstream nowadays and most people have heard of those hippie things. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one way you can do it. Or like in, in areas where cities don't have ordinances, like dig a hole when you're done shitting in that hole put a tree on top of it preferably a fruit or nut tree and like it'll flourish I 
think you should do more with your hands. Um, there's a lot of lost skills, maybe like uh, knitting and sewing. Like most, you don't have to buy new fucking clothes the second you get a little rip in them. Just grab some fucking uh, uh, needle and thread and sew it back together. Uh, it's an invaluable skill. Everyone worries about the apocalypse or what? Well, I feel like everyone hopes for an apocalypse nowadays, but. Uh, when it comes, are you going to be able to mend your own fucking clothes? Have you ever practiced? What about you? People ask me all the time, what are you going to do when someone asks you to leave? Are you going to ever leave? You know, I like, leave? Why would I leave my home? This is where I live. I want my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and my great-great-grandchildren to know that. His, their grandparents built this place, you know, every stone hand by hand, you know, and with love and hope, building a more brighter future, not a future that's handed, but that is actually made by our own hands. <laughs>